That's right, you got it. <laughs> and uh, cranes like Fraser, beautiful and beneficial in the wild. See, in the savannas in Africa, these guys eat a lot of seeds and grains, but they also eat insects. So they really help control those insect populations. Hey, Jane. Yeah. Do you want to feed Fraser? What? Me feed the bird? Yeah. Me? Oh, no. Come I don't on. think I'm ready. Come, Come on. on. What do you guys say? Should she do it? Come on. States of America. The bald eagle. Ladies and gentlemen, this is hope. And hope is a living symbol of one of the greatest conservation success stories of our time. You see, it wasn't long ago that the bald eagle was in danger of extinction. Their numbers dropped so low, so rapidly, that many feared future generations would never see these birds again out in the wild. But just when things looked their worst, some great things happened. People took notice and they took action. They cleaned up waterways where eagles fished and they stopped using a chemical pesticide called DDT, which was the main cause for their decline. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you saying that, that people, right, everyone here, people made the difference for bald eagles just by taking care of the environment? Oh, here, here. She's very excited about yeah, that. Yeah, she's very excited about that. Yes. But Jane, you are absolutely right. It was people just like everyone here. And thanks to their efforts, numbers of bald eagles rose so high that the bald eagle is no longer considered in danger of extinction. Oh, wow. What a great story. Yeah. Wow. You know, it's also a really great example of the power that we all have to come together and help save wildlife all over the world just by cleaning up our own environment. I am so glad you asked me to stay. Yeah? Yeah. I may have lost my flag, but... I overcame my fear of birds. There you go. I found hope, but I fed a crane out of my tube. Uh, look at this, he came right to you. What is that? He brought my flag back. My flag, oh my flag. Oh, <laughs> Oh, well, it's the, um, it's the thought that counts. There you go. Jane, this is Foster. Foster's a little galah. That's a cockatoo from Australia. Thank you, Foster. Oh, I think you made a connection with the birds today. Let me tell all my tour groups from here on in that the world really is our most precious gift. It's up to all of us to preserve it. Very well said. And you're absolutely right. I mean, we as humans, while we are the only species on this planet capable of saving wildlife all over the world. And we can do really simple things. We can conserve, recycle, support conservation programs. Like the Wildlife Conservation Fund that just sees animal kingdom. Exactly, Jane. All those things can help save this planet for all the beautiful creatures that live here. We can save it for woo, beautiful blue and gold macaws. Look at that. Hyacinth macaws, green winged macaws, spectacled owls, animals all over the world. The best part, we get to save this planet for our future generations to enjoy. You know, I heard it said once that we haven't inherited this earth from our parents. We're simply borrowing it from our children. I would like to leave you all with a simple wish I've picked up on my travels. May your hearts take flight and your spirits soar forever. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you guys would like, you are welcome to come on down to the very edge of the stage. You can take photos of our birds. You can ask our trainers any questions. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye. Thanks bye -bye. again.